Delta Airlines and hundreds of travelers are still dealing with the aftermath of a massive computer outage that temporarily grounded flights around the world. Today, those backups are still being felt. CBS North Carolina's Emma Wright is at Raleigh Durham International Airport talking with travelers. She joins us live with more. And Emma, you've been out there all morning. How are folks feeling it today? Folks are pretty frustrated. We've seen the line here with the Delta counter kind of shorten up and then grow longer again as folks show up to their flights only to find that they're delayed. Take a look at the line at the Delta counter right now. It starts at the ticket counter and wraps all the way to the door at Terminal 2. There's probably at least 100 people in line, if not more, and most of these people have been in line for a good bit of time. Delta says they were able to get their computer systems back up and running early yesterday morning, but they say the worldwide outage caused a chain reaction of cancellations and delays that kept customers waiting at the airport much longer than they had anticipated. And that ripple effect was felt, of course, at RDU. Many of Delta's flights leaving RDU were delayed. They weren't canceled, so there is a bright spot there. But passengers say they were frustrated with the lack of communication from the airline. They say they were aware of Monday's flight delays, but they didn't expect the outage to still be a problem today when they showed up to the airport. It's frustrating because you want to get home and that's it. You know, you're, you come here two hours ahead of time to get and you're still in line. I've been here since seven. I feel like it could be organized a little bit better, but things happen. So we're just going to wait it out. If you do plan on flying Delta today, you definitely want to check your flight status before you show up to the airport later on this afternoon. Delta is offering $200 vouchers for anyone whose flight was canceled or was delayed more than three hours. Reporting live from RDU, I'm Emma Wright, CBS North Carolina.